in object oriented programming inheritance is a powerful tool Goldout is strongly object oriented and offers the opportunity to use inheritance not just with the object but also with scenes you can use inheritance in Goldout to reuse code and create powerful hierarchies of objects and scenes in your game. Here is an example from the Goldot documentation, and as you can see, both the wizard and the warrior inherit similar properties on the character object. This method makes our work cleaner and makes it easier for us to define classes that inherit from the character object. To understand more, Let's head on to the video and see how inheritance can be of use for your project. So we'll go ahead and create a character script. Then our character script is going to inherit the properties and method of the node object. And next off, we're going to register the script as a global class, which is going to be accessible for use. Then we're going to call our ready function, which is a built-in function of the node object. And we're just going to print this line of text to the console. Now we're going to create our wizard scene, which is going to extend the character object directly from its global class or from its file path. If we were to run this, we see that our character ready function is being called, which is great since our wizard object doesn't define a ready function, so it makes use of the ready function in our character script now if i were to uncomment this line and run this again we see that the wizard function is being called and why is that is because the wizard ready function overrides the ready function from our character script now for go to three users if i were to run this function we'll see that both ready function is being called. And why is that? Because in Godot 3, some functions can't be override. Now, in our base script, which is our character, we can declare property the method to be used in our child script, which is our wizard. If I would come in this line and run, we see that our character ready function and take damage function is being called, which is great. Now, I will to comment this and run. We see that our wizard ready function is being called and our character take damage function is being called, which is also great because our wizard scripts doesn't have any take damage function so it makes use of the one in the base script now what do you think is going to happen if i were to comment the ready function well this is going to print out the ready function for our character script, then it's going to also display the take damage function for our wizard script. And why is that? Well, it's because of something we call polymorphism, which allows us to use child classes in place of the base class. Now, this means you could pass instance of the child class to method that expects instance of the base class and they will still work as expected. Now, in some cases, you may want to call the method of the base class in your child class. This is where we make use of the super keyword. And if I to run this, we see that our character take damage function is being assessed. By calling the super method, you can execute methods of the base class before executing the code in the child class. Inheritance is a powerful tool in Godot that can help create flexible and efficient game and code structure. As you are working on your own projects, look for opportunities to consolidate code and use inheritance for your scenes and script. 
as your project grows in size and complexity, it will quickly become a lifesaver. Hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you do, let me know with a thumbs up and a comment down below if you want to see more Godot tutorial. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.